Hey YouTube, I'm Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I recently picked up a new makeup product. I got this guy right here. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Light to Medium. I follow Samantha Ravindahl and she's been raving about this product for literally years for color correcting under her eyes. And I've been noticing over the past probably year or so that no matter how much concealer I put on or how bright of a color, I still have darkness under my eyes that shows up through from underneath my makeup. So I thought I would experiment a little bit with with a little bit of color correcting and I picked up this guy based off of her recommendation. I thought it would be a fun video to use the product only on one side of my face, do all of my makeup and then see if we can tell the difference between the two sides. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me as well and let's get started with the video. I'm very excited to give this a go. I hope you guys are excited to see me try it out. I'm kind of sad because I feel like it is going to work really well and I'm sad that like I'm not going to be doing it under both eyes, but we're going to do this for the sake of YouTube. So let me open this bad boy up. So this is what the product looks like out of the box. Really cute packaging, pretty luxurious looking. It's not the heaviest, but it looks really nice. And then that's what the color looks like on the inside. So it definitely has kind of like a peachy tone to it. Looks quite brightening. So let's give this a go. Which side should I try it on? Hmm. Let's do this one. So here's what my under eyes look like, you know, with no product whatsoever. For application, I'm gonna try a concealer brush. I also have my sponge at the ready, just in case um, it's a little bit trickier to blend, but I wanna start with a brush. And I'm going to just dip in really softly. It's quite emollient, actually. It um, seems like it'll be easy to blend. I don't wanna to take too much product right off the top. One of my brush hairs got in there already. Why do I have a feeling this product is gonna get pretty gross really quickly? <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to place that product down where my under eyes are the darkest, which is in the inner corner here, and just kind of pat it out. So it's very pink. I've also got eye cream on underneath my eye right now, so that's going to help in the blending as well. I'm just adding a little bit more. I want to be careful not to use too much because I, I'm going to go in with concealer over top because it's such a pink color. You can't just walk around with your under eyes looking like that unless you have super, super pink skin. And I think I, I'm just going to take my sponge now that the product is on and just really lightly go over top just to press it into the skin more than anything. I'm really re being really gentle with it. I don't want to move the product around too much. So there we go. So no corrector, corrector. What do we think? Does it make a difference? I think it definitely does. It looks quite a bit brighter under there, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely looks brighter under there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back once everything is done and we'll evaluate the two sides and see if there's a big difference. Okay guys, so my makeup is on. I wonder if you'll be able to tell the difference. So before I put my makeup on, I asked my boyfriend if he could tell the difference between my two eyes and he was able to say right away, like this eye has, he said whitener on. <laughs> And uh, he asked me if I had done something to darken the other eye. Like he said it looked like I had a black eye. So he could definitely notice a difference. Now that I have my makeup on, I'm actually gonna switch cameras because right now I have natural lighting on one side and artificial lighting on the other. So I'm gonna switch cameras so that I can face all natural lighting and we can see if we can tell the difference between the two sides. Okay, hi, here we are. So, here's one side. Here's the other. Can you guys tell a difference? I need to look up close in a mirror before I decide, but this side has the color corrector. 
this side doesn't. Okay, let me take a look and then we'll do some final thoughts on this first impression. Okay, so I just went and looked in my bathroom mirror and I kind of stared at both sides for a little while and I feel like there isn't a ton of difference. I feel like I don't really notice much of a difference now that the concealer is on, which is so strange because the color corrector by itself made such a huge difference. And now that I put concealer on top, I feel like there isn't a huge difference. So I asked my boyfriend again if he could tell a, a difference between the two sides. And at first he said, no, they look really similar. But then when we looked a little bit harder, he was able to say like, yeah, this side has the color corrector on. Um, it just looks a little bit less dark. So there's still like, you can see a fair bit of darkness on that inner corner there. But as we kind of come towards the outside edge compared to this side here, I have darkness like all the way here and in that inner corner. Whereas on this side, you can mostly just see it right here in this inner corner right here. So I'd say that's kind of the biggest difference was on like this outer part of my eye. And so I wonder if I concentrate a bit more product just right in this area, if that would make a difference. First impressions are tough because you need to be able to experiment with different techniques. You need to be able to experiment with different amounts of product, with different concealers, with different foundations before you can really decide if you like a product or not. I thought it would be fun to film this video this way, but I can't really give like final, final thoughts on it. I would say, yes, it makes a difference. Like for sure it made a difference before I put the concealer on. If it's a big enough difference to spend the extra money and the extra time to do that extra step, I'm not quite sure yet. I need to use the product a little bit longer. So I'll definitely update you guys in future videos. So if you wanna see the update on that, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. But yeah, in the meantime, I would say it works. I just don't know if it works well enough to where it, it's worth it to buy the product. So we'll see, we'll see in time how things go. I filmed this makeup look as well, so that'll be up on my channel soon, if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.